This is one of the key events along with the National All-Star Championship and the qualifier tournaments that teams were able to qualify for for this event as one of our selection vehicles. So yeah, it's a very important this event for USA Rugby and as a, and as a uh, lead into the national team. Our tournament uh, was uh, absolutely fantastic, very well organized, uh, weather was beautiful here in San Francisco and uh, the level of play increases every year. Each team uh, produces you know, one or two superb local athletes and then of course uh, with a couple of foreigners in, uh, like we saw Old Puget Sound had some outstanding uh, Fijian steppers and runners, so it really it ups the level and uh, makes everyone play a, a lot better. My name is uh, Wesele Serevi, I come from F the Fiji Islands in the South Pacific. And uh, why are you here today? I'm here just to be part of the National Sevens. Uh, I'm uh, here with the uh, old uh, uh, Pedro uh, Rugby Club, Beach Rugby Club. Uh, I just was just visiting a friend in Seattle. So they asked me to come with them on this trip. If, if you look at our breakdown, you know, we have the series coming up in a, in a few months, and then we also have the uh, Pan Am Games next year, and then longer term, 2016 and 2020. So if you look at 2016, those players are between 25 and 30 years old, but we have the circuit next year. So what we're looking for is, uh, the one of the primary things is, is speed, because that can't be taught. Uh, yeah, good decision making, uh, and, uh, and, and ball skills. And then the next key thing, if they don't have, if they're not a rugby player, a complete rugby player yet, at least a good athlete, good footwork, because we're looking for that as well. At the moment, uh, uh, USA is the rugby gold medal champions for the Olympics. A lot of uh, nations uh, taking rugby seriously, and uh, there's a lot of teams capable of winning. Even America, they have a great chance of uh, winning the medal. They have uh, the numbers, they have the facilities. Well, I first started playing overseas uh, after the World Cup in 2007. Uh, me and my uh, my good friend Takuzu and Gwenya, we both signed a, a contracts over there. I uh, signed for three years and uh, I liked it. It was very professional. Um, you're playing the sport you love and you're getting paid for it. But uh, I, I want to go to school. I want to finish that up and then, you know, carry on from there. Uh, the USA players that are playing abroad are actually, they are a really good um, uh, influence to, um, to all American players here. They, uh, they make, they make uh, 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 kids you know, so, uh, have something to look forward to, to or, you know, so I can go play overseas with, you know, I, you know, I want to travel the world. So, so seeing uh, guys like Todd Clever and Takutsa Niguenya uh, playing overseas, having great success that, you know, they can, they can put themselves in that situation. Like I, I can be, I can be the next Todd Clever and I can be the next Takutsa Niguenya. <laughs> It's, it's great seeing young kids playing domestically here. Um, there's a lot of talent. Uh, I've seen from France and here I compare them. And it all really is is experience. I mean, those guys pick up a rugby ball like we pick up footballs at the age of five and it just comes natural. Here we pick it up in high school and it's, uh, 
it's harder to learn at, a, at an older age, it's harder to adapt to. The good thing about Sevens Rugby is that the winners will be decided on the day. There's no more big teams, no more small teams in Sevens Rugby. Because it's only seven minutes, once you do a mistake, it's very costly, you lose the game straight away. So that is why Sevens Rugby is really interesting and it's good that Sevens Rugby is in the Olympics. And I thank the IOC committee and uh, all the members that uh, put their heads together and say yes, rugby for the Olympics and I salute them and I think it will be an exciting uh, event in the Olympics 2016. The game was very tough. Uh, um, every time we lost the ball, they capitalised and they scored. So that was that was the main difference, you know. Um, if we kept the ball for longer periods of play, we would have come back and scored a few more. Um, it was an exciting game, you know, uh, it, it wasn't one-way traffic at all, uh, so it was good, very physical, and I think uh, our boys did really well, and credit to them, uh, they, they were absolutely awesome today, you know. Two, three, three. <laughs> I mean, to see the master here at a lo uh, our local national tournament is, is superb, you know, I mean, um, I, I played against him when I was playing for America, and uh, I mean, he, he may be in his uh, 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 early 40s, but he still, he still has the magic, and his words uh, obviously have spread out, and his team did really well today, you know, so hopefully you see more in the future. Woo! <laughs>